Oh my god. Hello. Oh, I need like an eyebrow. <laughs> my eyebrow is gone. Oh my hair is so bad. Ah, Swipe up the penguin that's on you now. Oh. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. What's up? Welcome to this broadcast sensation. Um, the ooh ah uh, ah uh, smell station. Um, brown cow stunning. It's the ooh ah ah sensation. Oh my god, sorry. Why you did paint your eyebrows? Sorry. That oh, ring. oh my like, god! The, I used to have eyebrow hair, although the hairs are coming back. Um, but I draw them on. But hello, hello! Oh my goshness! Who's here? Friends, if we get to <coughs> five thousand likes, I'll show you a little something on my finger. Ooh, no, sis. Five thousand. <laughs> okay, guys, what's up? Update. Um, what? Hi. Uh, what was I gonna say? Share this with your fans. Use your free spins. And when we get to um, twenty thousand likes, Seb's gonna show you the ring on his finger because we finally picked it up. It was like getting sized since the video. But yeah, if you want to see it right now, my hair. And then, so yeah, we'll we'll make out at fifty thousand likes. How about <laughs> that? And then if we get to a hundred thousand likes, we will do like a couples twerk booty challenge thing. Or something. I don't know. Oh, hi. You want to say hello, my little baby? Look who's back. So if you guys don't know, we were in Orlando for Play This Live this last weekend. And I miss my baby so much. Oh, wait. Let me bring Latte. And Latte, too, of course. Latte has been so cuddly and just so cute since we got back. And it's really nice to see that sign of her. Thank you, Ron, for the 500 likes. I love you so much. We missed you. Um, sorry we didn't broadcast it all while we were gone, guys. But I promise there's some very exciting videos coming. Uh, I'm posting a video tomorrow, actually. So get excited. <laughs> Oh, the oh, sass is back. Uh, <laughs> She's like, like I'm, I don't have my eyebrows on. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I feel like they both have a little part of you and me in them. Yeah. It's cute. It's very fresh. <laughs> I was so excited to see y'all, but they didn't give me the tickets. What? Oh my god, Angel, why? I'm so Love sorry. You more. That's... Like, that sounds stupid. Yeah, but if we met any of you, send me the photos, because I love seeing all those photos. They're so yeah. cute. It was so sweet. We met so many of you guys. I know. And just the whole weekend was really fun. We also met some other iconic gays, you know, some friends, friendy friend friends. Um, but the I'm not going to spill too much tea. Com. Not going to spill too much tea yet. But yeah, it's been a good, it was a really good weekend. Um, yeah, I had such a good time. Um, it's just so sad weather. when you leave those things, because then you're like, you leave all these people you love. The weather like Hila, I miss Hila so much. Hila, la, la. <laughs> Sad. We met so last, so last minute. Yeah, like, I actually, yeah, I think we met, like, a lot. I met a lot of people when I was a little bit drunk, too, <laughs> yeah. so. We came back from, like, a party, <laughs> and we were drunk in the lobby, and people were saying hi to us, and we're like, ah. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, Wait, Nick and Brandon, yes, we were hanging out with them. They're super sweet. And some other peeps, you know, <clears throat> Nick and Anthony, yep, Duggery, do you guys know Duggery? I call him Duggery, it's Doug, <laughs> Doug Armstrong. <laughs> um, Sorry, I was about to sneeze, I was like... You were with Nick um, and Brendan when I met you, hey. <laughs> Yeah, all the gays are the best, go to go all them out, I love them all. Underappreciated, like, who? Straight couples who? <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so we're here to just chat. Things. So, once we get to 20,000 likes, I will show you the ring on his finger, and we'll kiss with, like, a little ring moment. <laughs> and then 50,000 likes, we'll make out, and if we get to 100,000 likes, we will do, like, a couple's booty twerk challenge for you guys. Get that booty poppin'. Although, I really need to go to the gym, because I haven't worked out in, like, a week, so. Me too, sis. Like, my butt's a little I flat. ate <laughs> so much. So, so, so much. Guys, I and spent then... $80 on tamales <laughs> for, like, me, Seb, Ela, and Georgia. While we were there, we were hungry. There was a tamale truck, like, a food truck. I was excited. Seb was excited. Hey! <laughs> Mocha, come. Mocha, come now. <laughs> Did you guys hear so that? So then, that money gets translated to Canadian. Okay, go. Go, go. That money gets translated to Canadian. Sorry, our children are fighting. And it was 120 so I spent 120 
dollars on tamales. Like there were vegan tamales. Well, there was non-vegan ones that Ela and Georgia had, and then ours were vegan, and ours were like lime green. It was so weird. They but, were really good. Yeah, so good. But um, yeah, that was just too much money that I spent on tamales. So, fun story for you. But yeah, and also our hotel room was not as messy as years before that. It was messy. It was messy. But not as messy. <laughs> Deontay. Oh, hey, Brandon. <laughs> That's Brandon, right? No? Is it? I don't know. But that's he was calling me Deontay. <laughs> <laughs> that's T. People don't know that. It's a secret. <coughs> hey, thank you, Corey, for the likes. Love you. Say hi, my little baby. <laughs> Uh, well, Why am I dying? Was that where you guys met? No, we met at Playlist. No, we met at VidCon. Who? Us two. Oh, yeah. We don't really go to VidCon anymore. Maybe in the future we will, but we haven't been the last couple of years. Yeah. Like Playlist is more fun. Yeah, I really like Playlist because like, even like the energy feels different. And there's also like... I don't know, I feel like VidCon uh, got a l- very, like, money-hungry, and then they just, like, started selling a, a, a lot of tickets, so it's so packed. Who cares? Let's not give them the clout. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, you're friends with Brandon. Okay, yeah. He, he thought my name was actually Deontay. Um, Which could be. It's yeah, a, it's I a, stand. It's a name. It's we a good, stand. It's a cute name, <laughs> actually, because people already call me Deontay, because they say my voice sounds similar to Deontay, so Deontay, it's pretty close. <laughs> I don't People sound like call Beyonce. call me Sebiana Grande sometimes. Ooh, I, I like that. <laughs> I like it like that. You never believe me when I tell them. Uh, Seb, can you help me with Spanish? Yes. Um, I like diamonds. It's so f- nice. Like, I was wearing makeup every day there, so it's nice to just have an on on. I know. I was. I did my Relax makeup every my day, skin. and I really didn't want to. <laughs> Sebiana Grande, love that. Thank you. <laughs> I just burped. Um, also, oh yeah, look what I got. Where's my books? You're buzzing my books? Oh, I'll get them. Oh, oh <sighs> yes, I've got some cute things, guys, for... Oh, oh. But do you really want to show it right now? Don't you could like, make a video out of that. Oh, I was just going to show the portrait. Okay. Is that a por- Is that a called a portrait? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> T. Oh my god, Seb, read my comment, what the hell? Oh, Seb read my comments. <laughs> I'm sorry we didn't meet you, Angel. One day we will, I'm sure. We love you. Um, but yes. Oh, scratching. Seb's so about to show you something, I think. Yeah, so I got this book. What's it called? The Bride's, bride's Year, Year Ahead. Ahead. So this is some so month like, to month. Are you month. the bride then or something? Yeah. <laughs> we both are the brides. We're both the... And the grooms. People in love. Or the brooms. <laughs> the brooms. brooms. <laughs> Broom squad. Uh, so yeah, this one is month, month to month. Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a month to month wedding planner. And then I also got this one because it one was prettier and bigger. It's another wedding planner. Ah! So the wedding plans will begin. Not yet. <laughs> When are you uploading new video? I might upload. I'm posting for sure on Saturday, and I still I might upload before that too. I don't know. I have to check and see with my team of people that uh, edit. Thank my you, video. Samantha. Love you. I'm posting Wednesday and Sunday. He's posting Saturday, and maybe Thursday. When are you hoping to get married? Around? I don't know. Stay tuned to our YouTube channels because we're gonna make a bunch of like wedding planning type videos whenever that stuff starts happening. So we'll keep you guys posted, of course. Um, also for, uh, we're going to be doing a live broadcast on our Patreon to answer some like more personal Q and A's. So if you're on our patreon.com slash Sebastian, then that'll be coming up soon. Whenever we can figure that out soon. It's been a crazy couple of months. It's been a crazy couple of months, but like, I know we all, I feel like we always say that, but it actually has. And it's because we're working really hard for you guys. There's so much stuff coming. I'll be releasing music this summer. Hopefully we'll see. I don't know. (laughs) So yeah, cool things are starting to for sure happen. Um, how was your play up? It was so much fun. It was the tea, sis. The boots, the house down, realness. And we still haven't watched the first episode of season eleven. Oh my Drag god! Race. Yeah, don't spoil it. How was your I love her. Yeah, please don't spoil it, friends. I miss the weather because, like, here I went outside today and I froze my titties. <laughs> barbecue on my barbecue sauce on my titties. So. 
Here's a little tea for you. No, when we get to 10k likes, I'll spill some tea about music. How much do you hate the cold now? I honestly... It's not like it's cold, though. It's like free... Like, Canada's never this cold. This is bad. Yeah, it's bad. It's like, like pinchy. You go outside for five seconds, you can't even, like, breathe. Ugh, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Oh, yeah, that'd be cute. What? Like, once we get married, like, the I do or whatever, we make that, like, the intro to our YouTube video. Oh. Like, Sebastian, I do. <laughs> that'd be so cheesy. I love you. I am cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking about cheesy. Oh my god, I was drunk and I ordered pizza, and it had a real cheese, and I ate it all one night. <laughs> uh, I, I started. I started recording music. Uh, I'd say a couple weeks ago now, and yeah, I can. I want to tell you guys something, but I'll tell you if we get to 10k likes. We're only at 8,000 likes, guys. What is happening? Imagine a world where I could dress how I want to instead of being forced to wear dresses. Are you young? Is it like your parents? Coma falls. Don't. Who want you to? Because, like, you'll grow up and you'll be able to embrace your own style. Yeah, don't worry. Like, I know it's hard, but you just have to continue to let your inner shine, light shine through. Yeah, and the more you, like, push through, people will slowly start to be more accepting of the way you want to... Um, present yourself. Dion, please send me your pics. Oh, wait, I think... Yeah, yeah, I, I will send them through Instagram. Wait, are you... Wait, is that the one? Is that, are you the person who had blue hair? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I have the so. photos. I was trying to find you on Twitter, but I couldn't find you, so I was like, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, so, like, DM me on Twitter or something. I can't ever talk about my sexuality with my family. Uh, I'm sorry... But, like, try talking, like, about LGBT things, like, little by little, and, like, hopefully it gets better. Love your new Ensa post up. Thank you. Brandon actually <laughs> took that photo, and I loved it. And then Dion got mad at me because I posted it. Like, he didn't get really mad, but, like, he was annoyed. And I was like, Dion, you always post the best photo, so, bitch, I'm gonna post it. Yeah, you got away with that one. You missed it. <laughs> but there's some other cute ones we took, so I'm excited to post Yeah, them. we did, like, a little portrait. I wanted to take one in front of the Ferris wheel with all I us. know, and they, we couldn't even, like, because it was I just know. that weird thing. But other people did, so I don't know I how know. they got out there. Yeah, how did they get out there? Do you think they just, like, escaped? And... I think it was just the angle. Like, they probably got a low angle that showed. Wait, no, oh, no. Super far hmm. Weird. Um, when, when will I have a pic with you guys? Um, one day, Corrine. Maybe one day. When I wake up, and smile and never will be okay. Um, when we do our, our world tour. A world tour. Shaggy! It was so good to see you. How are you, sweets? Wait, Shaggy's here? Oh my god, Shaggy! Hey! Guys, Shaggy, it was the sweetest uh, engagement present yes, ever. Yes, Shaggy, thank you so much for all the engagement goodies we and the beautiful flowers. We couldn't bring flowers, though. No, but I put them in my... I took some photos with them that I actually love, and I will be posting soon, so... Because <laughs> one, time, one time I brought a flower in, oh, internationally, yeah. and they, took, they opened my bag and took it out. And I'm like, it's a flower. I feel like if you press it and hide it in a book, that's the only way to get away with it. I don't know. But yeah, you're not supposed to take like agricultural things or across borders. It's illegal. I should have put it in my booty hole. That was so. I'm, I'm so into you. I saw like we were getting onto the plane I'm to come back so to Canada, into. and there was this little bug on the wall, and I was like, "Girl, that bug's trying to escape to Canada." <laughs> Because tonight, let's dance like there's no goodbyes, no goodbyes, no goodbyes. Friends, we're 2,000 likes away from 10,000 likes. Let's get it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. If you're just getting here, if we get to 20,000 likes, Seb's going to show you his engagement ring while we kiss. And 50,000 likes, we're going to make out. And if we get to 100,000 likes, we're going to do a little twerky twerk competition, which... I, I feel like you'd be better while twerking than me. I am better at twerking. Because you have more of a booty. Yeah. Your point. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're probably good at twerking. Mm. I'm kidding. So Don't mean. cry. I love you so much. I love you so much. What? He's, Mocha's Thank like, you, Kareem. Will not stop wanting me to play with him today. He's so cute. 
My monster. My little monster. He's so sleepy, though. I think he, like, had a really good time where he was. Yeah, he made a best friend. A mini... I don't know the name. It's, like... It's a miniature... It's a miniature husky kind of thing, but they have a special name. Oh, yeah, Ela said it, but I Yeah, know. and they're so cute, and they were, like, best friends because Mocha's, like, half husky. Well, one-eighth husky. Um, so, yeah, very cute. Hey, baby! And then there was another dog that's 13 years old, and no, no dog ever, because they... It's, like, a place where a lot of dogs go, has, no dog ever has successfully gotten this dog to, like, play with them. And then it was playing with Mocha, and it's the cutest. Aww. And you're such, a, you're such a friendly guy. I was telling him that it was, like, his playlist life. Yeah, Mocha had his own playlist life. Oh, my God. Thank you, Darth Kirby, for <laughs> donating $10,000. You're not going to get us this time, sicko. I'm kidding. I'm going to go poop over it. Right okay. Thank you. Well, guys, we're number, top, we're number 97 on top broadcasters. So... T, Mocha, what do you want, my love? I went on a spree of y'all's YouTube videos. Um, well, I just say like, make sure you have the notification bell on. There's so much stuff coming. Um, I've never actually felt so. What's the word? Like the stars have aligned for me. I really know what videos I want to put out. There's some cool ones coming this week for sure. Um, some cool ones planned for the next couple months. Um, I can't believe I'm actually like recording guys. Uh, oh, we hit 10,000, we hit 10,000 likes and so now I can tell you. Okay. So I have been recording, uh, I'm not going to say too much, obviously, but I have successfully almost finished one song and I love it. And I can like, okay. My thing was, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to go into the recording studio. I'm going to suck. And I'm just not going to ever want to make music, you know, like it's just going to be the worst. Um, and that's just because, like, I've never done it before. I went to the recording studio for one day, and we made, like, an awesome song. I'm going back and, like, re redoing vocals and stuff just to, like, make it perfect for you guys. For myself, too. But, um, yeah, just, like, oh, my God. The fact that we... The fact that I've, like... I almost feel like I had, like, a natural, like, talent in the studio. Like, like it worked out. It didn't, it didn't go awful. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so, yeah, the fact that I have a song that I'm excited for you guys to hear... It's crazy. I never thought that would happen. And I am so, so, so excited to release the music this summer. Um, hopefully I can get it done. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say any more about like how many songs I'll be releasing or whatever, but I have it all planned out. And I really hope you guys are excited. Um, your initial support when I release the music will obviously mean the world to, to you know, see if I can continue to make music. <laughs> but yeah, I think, it, I think it's going to go well. I think you guys will love it. Everyone I showed the song to so far has really liked it. So, oh my god, it's just crazy. It's crazy I actually have, like, a song, you know? Like, girl. Wow. Wow. But yeah. Okay. There's a little tea for you, sis. We're almost at 20k. When we get there, we're gonna show you guys the wedding ring and kiss. While Seb is, like, showing it. Photo screenshots down. And for anyone who gives, um, if you guys, what's the special thing right now? Like, the gift on here. If anyone gives that, I'll write your name on my face. How did you stay in the cold in Canada for so long? I hate it. Like, it's because it's, like, usually, like, half of the year or more that Canada's freezing. And I just, I can't deal. <laughs> uh, I usually hide inside. Um, I think the best thing is to, like, focus on, like, working out and um, work hard. Like, focus on your work. That's what I've been doing. Just focus on the things I really want to, like, YouTube videos that I want to put out for you guys, music, etc. Because it's so easy for me to get, like, depressed in the winter. Because all I want to do is, like, hide in my bed and sleep. So, yeah, I'm really proud of myself for pushing myself not to do that this year. So, yeah, if you're, if you're like, a person who lives in a place that gets real cold like me, just try not to sleep all the time and hide from the... If you're hiding from the cold inside, just make sure you maintain, like, productivity and... Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's hard, but it's, like... I don't know, working out really helps me stay productive, so. Yeah, me too. And it's, like, yeah, like, more like leaving. Because, like, when I'm, like... Like, I need to be outside of my apartment to feel productive sometimes. Uh, Canada's really LGBT-friendly, for the most part. At least Toronto is. Like, Canada would be perfect if it wasn't for the weather. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I, I saw that it was voted the best place to live in or something. Like yes, that. it's a fiancé. I almost showed my ring. My fiancé. Can we make merch that says fiancé? Fiancé. Um, wait, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Oh, yeah. So, we were all oh. Boo Boo the Fools last week. And if you're saying you weren't Boo Boo the Fool, we're you clearly bitch, weren't you're updated. lying. You're lying. So, 
we all thought that Taylor Swift yeah, Corey. was gonna release new music last week. And guess what? She didn't. A ho didn't release a new song. She be with a fool. So, but then I'm pretty sure if my visions are not wrong, I can feel a new single coming out this Thursday at midnight. <laughs> I might be wrong, but that's probably wrong because he's always wrong. That's what my titties are telling me. Love you too, Morgan. Well, Sub says that like Taylor was gonna release music last week, and he was like, "I am Taylor psychic. I know everything." And you the know, clues were there, sis. Like all the proof was the in cl- the pudding. The clues were just boo boo the fool. No, yeah, she was really trying to make us boo boo the fool. <sighs> well, we're still here. We're we're still queer. And we're still fearless. Fearless. I did that on purpose. I'm hungry. You wanna make a snack? Yeah. What should we make? I don't know. What should we make? Oh, I beautiful. grabbed his Grinch. Who uh, pretend like it's all alright? That song's stuck in my head. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you, but you tell. Uh, Father, say David. Hey, Anid, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. What? Nothing. Oh, wait, the, the, what, what was that face from Isn't It Romantic? Oh, wait, wait. Dion has a baby, angry baby face. Look, do it. No, take this. Like this. Yeah, like that. <laughs> but then, the, the remember in Isn't It Romantic? Yeah. When they're like, go fluffy, or what is it? <laughs> Ready? Play the guitar. <laughs> I graduate college this year and I'm freaking out. Oh my god, congrats, Araya. Yes. We graduate next oh, year. Very exciting. Hello. I can't wait. Thank you, David. I love you guys. Congrats on the engagement. Thank you. 8,000 more likes and I'll show you my ring ding 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 ding. I love you guys. Congrats. Oh, I'll that. Or if someone sends. Uh, like 20,000 bars will make out for two minutes. minutes. Two minutes. Yes. 20,000 bars equals two minutes. Let's do that. Um, I'm a teenager and I love you guys. Well, I am not a teenager and I love you. I tried to use my free spin and it glitched, so I don't even know if it worked. Oh. No, I didn't use it. Oh. Love you, Kenna. Love. Sorry that it glitched. I got a promise from her. Nina! Oh Thank, Thank you so you much. Nina. Send you all my love. Oh my gosh. Let me put you on my Snapchat story. Wait, it's going to go away. It's going to go away. It's going to go away. No, wait, wait, stay, stay, stay. All you have to do was stay. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Sorry, Nina. Next time. I love you. Uh, thank you, Maddie Cupcakes, for the 100 bars of likes. I love you so much. Why did you all get glitches? That's insane. Well, I said 20,000 bars or um, 50,000 likes for a makeout. The challenge is on. Um, Thanks for great fun, Morgan. You guys are really gonna like tomorrow's video. It's like a really full circle moment. You guys will see what I mean. So yeah. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. You got our dates right. Seb's older than me. If you can't tell, because he has no wrinkles. So I'm 1997 in BH. You wish, sweetie. You wish. I really need to like go on a diet. This whole week, it's eat healthy. I don't want kids as of right now, like in the future, perhaps. But I'm, um, yeah, no. Yeah, like <laughs> I saw so many people in the airport with kids, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I want kids. But then Georgia pointed out that like having kids is like expensive, and I was like, oh, true. So like, not right now. <laughs> yeah, it would have to be because like, like if you go to like more Chipotle. Wealthy. If you have, if you go to Chipotle, I'd be too stressed. It's like eight dollars or something, but then if you have kids, and then like if we pay Dion mine, and we have a kid, that's like thirty two. Is that thirty two? I don't know what you're saying, Sarah. I think that um, I wasn't listening to you honestly, Sarah. I think that it you sh- like here's my personal opi- opinion. I think gender reveal parties are the stupidest thing in, in the world, and I think that you shouldn't. Um, expect or be excited or hope for your child to be a certain gender um, or seriously sex 
because gender is a social construct and as your child grows up they are going to become a beautiful human in their own way and that a human could you know change their gender identity from the one that they were assigned at birth they um may transition um they yeah just a whole bunch of things i think it could be super damaging to uh confine your child to gender roles and like yeah like oh my my child was born sex female so i'm gonna dress them up all pink and stuff like no maybe when they're a baby it doesn't matter but as they grow up you should definitely be more in tune to what your kid how your kid wants to express themselves um and just let them live and then yeah you know what i'm saying like i think yeah i think you can like when they're babies you can just like wear whatever right and then when they're a certain age you can just take them to a store and be like hey what do you want to get of course of course like as long as it's like not clashing patterns or like clashing colors because you don't want a kid that doesn't know how to dress but yeah like teach them good styles and then let them do the rest yeah um, Isabel, love you. Also, a rule: I don't want to come for anyone, but if my kids wear Crocs, I'm cutting their feet off. I'm kidding. Love you, Isabel. I'm kidding. They can wear Crocs if they want to. I wore Crocs when I was a kid too, for like a week. But then they did this thing to my feet that I had like what are they called? They scrape my feet. What? When I wore Crocs one time. They scraped your feet. Yeah. Okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> um, that whole, like... I'm okay, you're, you're allowed to disagree it. with me, sweetie, but that's my opinion. Wait, who said that? Bird is the word. Blisters. Yeah, blisters. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Did <laughs> you guys see the whole, like, guys. Crocs, Vans, shoe <laughs> challenge moment? Yeah, when you throw them and they land exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. Look, we threw it. It's kind of weird. No, yeah, you're like you're you're allowed your opinion, um, but like, why would you want to put your ball your your child into like a box of gender when you know so many like kids become transgender and confused and like suicidal because their parents um, don't support them? I just think that's not the way to go about parenting. Like, would you like it if you're like born and then your parents are like? No, they're, he's not. They're sorry. They're not like mad they're just saying they no no i'm just saying would you like would you like it if you're born and you're like your parents are like you love pizza and you actually hate pizza but they're like no you're eating pizza every day of the your life and you're like can i try some other things no you were born to like pizza so you're gonna like pizza it's kind of a little exaggerated, but it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can say your opinion. Like, obviously, um, I think that I am very happy to be a fiance. Okay, can you point the camera out to the floor? Oh, are you doing this? <laughs> First try, Nike shoes. Okay. Let's see. And action. Wait one sec. Okay. Oh, that one failed. Oh my god, you know what's also crazy? We were talking to this one YouTuber, I don't actually know their name, but said, like, watch them or something, and we met them at Playlist, and they are from the same hometown as me. Like, what a small world. <gasps> Madness. That one ended. Uh, her name is Haley Reese. Yeah, and we're from the same hometown, so that was, like, a bonding moment. Uh, they were pretty drunk when I talked to them, so I don't know if they remember, but it was funny, because I was like, how, was how are we, like, both in America right now, and we're both from the same place? For one, for two, I've never met any other like YouTubers really from the same place as I live, apart from Brad Sousa. But does that count? <laughs> so, what age can you make your own decision? What age can you make your own decision uh, about? Well, I don't think it's make your own decision. Like, if a child, say, like a six-year-old child, is exhibiting signs of like gender dysphoria or something like that, um, it's not really like your kid's just gonna be like, "Oh, I think I'm trans," and you're gonna be like, "Okay." Um, sounds good. Let's get to the transition. No, you're going to bring your child to a therapist and they're going to talk and the therapist or that professional is going to let you know, like, you know, what your child is going through. I think it's just really important to maintain an open mind when your kid's growing up because the young age is um, where they're really impressionable. And if you like put them in a box and confine them and make them super uncomfortable, it's going to have like ripple effects that are damaging when they're older. So true. Yeah. You're the best. I love you. 
Uh, how was Playlist? It Playlist was, was crazy. Letty Cakes. Yeah, it was so fun. Probably one of my favorite years, just because, like, everyone was super... The vibe was good this year. Like, every yeah. YouTuber was super smiley and happy, or, like, whatever creators they are. Yeah, everyone was super nice Because, like, I always try to make friends, and a lot of my previous players, I think I've talked about this before... People are just, like, uh, Yeah, I'll snakes. talk to people, and I'm like, oh, my God, hi, and they're like... Yeah. I'm like, oh, I like your videos. Thanks. And they're like, you're like, oh, I like your shirt. Thanks. But this time, everyone we met was so, like, nice and, like, There must genuine. have been something in the water. I know. <laughs> and, yeah. So, that was really fun. What's the next big, big activity you're going to attend this year or plan? Um, I really don't know yet. I don't know. Do you have fun hanging out with Nick Horton Brand? Yeah. And a bunch of other people. It was just, it was just a good time. I it have was to, really fun. I have to go, you guys. I'm a team, by the way. Love you. Love you, too. We were actually going to film uh, a video with Brendan and Nick, but we were too busy. So <coughs> it'll be another time. Another time, another crowd. But I was telling Brandon that we should do a gay trip. Oh, <laughs> no, literally. I'm down. <laughs> with Georgia and Ela. Caitlin, thank you so much for the 1,000 bars. Sending you all my love. I hope you're having an amazing day. Big hugs from us. Love thank you. Thank you, Caitlin. That... No, I says mocha. Tell me a story. I'm in, I'm intrigued. Oh my god, Latte's a queen. She's like, why did you bring back mocha? Yeah, Latte was super... Like, yesterday we got home and we didn't pick up mocha until this morning from where he was. Um, so Latte, she's always really happy uh, when mocha's not here. And then he gets here and she's like... Eh. No, she's still happy. She looks happy, but... She was cuddling us when we were napping. She gets less cuddly when he's here. Hey, What's one of the best things her? that has come out of being a YouTuber? Meeting Seb. Oh, the free stuff I'm getting. <laughs> yes. No, meeting. No, we, we had like playlist this year. Tarte Cosmetics gave us so much free stuff, and I I'm just so happy. Like, can't wait to use it all. Um. Also, I finally got the James Charles palette. So, more makeup looks to come, sweeties. Um. On my Instagram, Dion Yorkie. Also, my Check other it. favorite part of being a YouTuber is meeting all of you, babes. Yes, and just the community we've created with you guys. Yeah. You're all super sweet. I don't know who was talking to us at the at playlist at the meet and greet, but they were like, "Oh, um, I just re I just like uh, found your channels and your community, your like viewers. They're all so sweet. It's such a loving community." And I'm like, "Oh, that's so nice to hear because we always try to like have you guys be the bestest and the people who support everyone. So y'all are just know that y'all are like the best. You know what I'm saying? You're not biatches. Yeah, like it's nice because like I feel like my younger self would have liked. To having, meet friends through. Yeah, like having a community, a, like an LGBT community or something. So that's cool. Exactly. Mocha must stress latte out. Yeah, I feel like he does. <laughs> On my Insta, I have looks I did with the James Pad. Ooh. Ooh, yes. I'm so excited. Like, I did one <laughs> the other. Okay, so we have like a story. I don't know. It's a tea. Like, I wish we filmed that with Eli. It's tea. We went to like this party. It was the most sketchiest thing. I really, like, okay. If we get to fifteen, if we get to fifty thousand likes in the next twenty minutes, I will tell you guys a story. I promise you, it is tea to be spilled. It's like YouTube tea. It's madness, um, and we'll make out also. So. <laughs> we'll make out. Also. Let's get to fifty thousand likes, guys. I want to tell you this story. Basically, it's like a the last night of playlist. What happened with all the YouTubers, the parties we went to, and I got the inside scoop. And let me tell you, it's it's we were played the fool twice. I could say three times, but I'm not gonna tell you the third time. So twice. <laughs> uh, yeah, y'all need to hear. It. It's like, like the first time. Still can't that... understand, but it's okay. Cause like I like I enjoyed the the first thing we did. I enjoyed it, but we were still played the fool. Well, yeah, cause we because yeah. we were hamsters in a cage for a while. <laughs> <sighs> uh, so how has your experience coming out as a Latino man? Uh, I think like it wasn't really cause like. My family is not okay, as please, quiet. close-minded as, like, probably most of the Latino community. So it wasn't as hard, I don't think. Angel, thank you so much for the 500 bars. Love you. Um, You can be groomed. What do you mean? Like, some like parents can groom their kids to be something they're not going to be? I think, like, 
Well, mm, obviously grooming right. is not okay, and there's like sexual predatory grooming, which is obviously illegal and disgusting. But actually, but what I'm saying is like wait till your kid expresses the need for something, and then just like say yes. Like yeah. don't be like, oh, you can't do that. You're a boy. Because like actually, you're saying that I was probably straight growing up, but actually, ever since I was like seven, I think I remember. Now that I think about it, I remember seeing like seeing guys. And thinking, oh my god, he's hot. Like, I remember I was, like, in summer camp when I was really young and my... What's it called? My counselor was hot. And I was like, girl, he can get it. But I was young, so, like... And then, like, I remember... Like, now that I think about it, I remember having crushes on guys. But at the time, I would just, like, repress it because society would tell me that it was not okay to like guys. True. I agree. Like, I have... Um, so like if society, if like there was no judgment towards it, I would probably know that I was bisexual since I was like younger. I remember when I was 14, I was attracted to one of my best friends and I repressed that like super hardcore because obviously like society was telling me that that wasn't okay. Um, I don't really have any memories before that, that I was attracted to guys, I don't think. But, um, also before that, like when I was young, I dated like girls like just playfully like you know school ground dating um but I always remember like feeling some type of way about like the guys I would have sleepovers with and stuff so I guess I always like I've always been a pansexual pancake (laughs) uh you can't pray the gay away but you can pray for TS7 Ah! and why would you want to pray the gay away darling Gay yeah. just means free, in my opinion. Because if you feel like you're gay and you like you come out as gay, you're free. Also, like, I feel like if being gay was a choice, right, then well, everybody would be gay because it's really <laughs> fun. No, here's what happened. I was, like, 12 and I was a sleepover with one of my best friends. And then I had, like, a crush on them, but I didn't really know what was going on because, like, I hadn't acknowledged I was gay yet. And then... Um, we had a sleepover together, and we slept in the same bed, and they peed the bed, and then my crush went away. <laughs> I used to pee the bed until I was, like, 10, I think. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's normal. A lot of people have those issues. Yeah. I don't know why. <sighs> it's natural. Uh, do you have fun under your Orlando eye? I liked it, but I I wish it, was, it had, like, um, it's part of the story. Like, I wish it was, like, a bigger place. Oh, I want to see Alita. But we were going to see it, and then said I wanted to see Isn't It Romantic, and then we were going to see it again, and said I wanted to see something else. Uh, Death Day 2. Oh, yeah. So we never saw Alita. Was it good? <laughs> Love you, Sarah. Just be yourself. Be safe. Come out to people you think will support you first. If you think, you know, or just, like, yeah. But birdies the world. Take your time exploring yourself, you know what I'm saying? Birdies the world, the word. Actually, a lot of my friends, that would that was funny. Like, that, that was interesting. A lot of my friends, when I was, like, in kindergarten, they would, like, buy, like, Barbie dolls or, like, things like that, like, because they wanted to, like, and they were really young. Like, they were, like... I'm thirsty, buddy. Like, since they were the babies. So, water, yeah, like, I feel like if you take a kid to a toy store... And just let them pick whatever they want. They'll buy whatever they want. They they won't go ex- uh, like just for the guy, the boys' toys or the girls' toys. You know what I'm saying? Like unless you're unless you're a parent and telling them, no, that's a girls' toy. Like we were doing a photo with some people coming soon. Not saying anything else, but we were like told to like squat like this, and everyone was doing it cute, and I was like this, and and my friend Ela was like. You look like you're taking a shit, Dion. <laughs> and I just don't understand that cute pose that everyone keeps doing like this. I also don't understand I don't why understand it's, either. I, I don't understand why it's so cute. Like, why does everyone think it's like the go-to pose? For like, me, it's like, why are you squatting? I like it, but I feel like I look like I'm shitting. <laughs> but I like it. Like, I wish I could pull it off. But we'll see. Like, I feel like we pull. Yeah, I'm just it jealous. Off, I can't pull it off. off. No, but the thing is. At the, by the third day of playlist, I was running on, like, five hours of sleep. It means I both looked like crackheads. Not to be rude to crackheads, but, like, our eyes looked whack. <laughs> yeah, like, my eyes were, like... Because, like, 
like we did not sleep a lot it was such a busy playlist we didn't even get to go in the pool like that's how busy we were that's never happened before usually the first day we're like oh it's dead and then like let's go in the pool but this year was wild i know it was so much fun <laughs> bye, I'm bye, a bear. I'm a bear. That's what I'm calling the gay community. Okay, hey. bye. <laughs> bye, bear is the word. Good, good, top playing devil's advocate. Thanks. It's always nice to have somebody to, you know, prove wrong. <laughs> I mm. mean, love you. I like a boy, but I think a girl likes me. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna have to tell that girl you're not interested before you break her heart. Mocha. <laughs> love you, Zach Davison. Thank you. Hope you have an amazing day. Sending you all my love. Big hugs. Actually, um, we can only live once. Why can't everyone be whatever they want? Exactly, sweets. Yeah, like, life is too short to be wondering. To be, like, worrying about what other people are doing with their lives, you know? Hmm. Like, just you do you. It's really not a hard concept. Latte is... But everybody crazy. acts like it is. Yeah, like, now, like, since I'm, like, used to, like, talking about all these things and everything, like, I find it so weird when people have, like, a problem with the gay community or, like, with the LGBT community in general. Like, I'm, like, why are you wasting your time having a problem with this when there's, like... It usually comes from, like, you know, systematic, like, cultural oppression. Yeah, but I'm, like, I'm, like, the world is actually ending and you're worrying about two guys kissing. That's just stupid. But I guess there's people with low... We need people with lower IQs, right? <laughs> How did you guys start dating? Um, we met at Starbucks. No, we didn't. I'm kidding. We met at Whole Foods. No, we didn't. I was buying <laughs> celery. And I was buying guac. <laughs> and I was like, would you like to guac my world with your celery? <laughs> no, we met at VidCon and then we liked each other. So we were like FaceTime for like a month. And then we met up at Playlist Live DC, and then that's where we started dating. Mm-hmm. And then we were long distance for a year. Worst year ever. It wasn't the worst year ever. No, like it was great when we were together, but when we were apart, I was like an emotional wreck. Yeah. But like, that's what Becky and I were saying, like, once you go, like, once you're like long distance with someone, like you, like, you like, your relationship, like, grow, like, gets like tighter like yeah stronger stronger yeah um we had olive garden in orlando because someone just mentioned it and oh my god (laughs) their salad is so good oh i want olive garden now (laughs) but we can only eat like one meal there like all their meals are completely on vegan so it's like sad to stare at the menu and we always have to like make our own pasta that's vegan like on their menu but it was good so good but i just really wish i could have the chicken parmesan looks delicious can we make a vegan (laughs) chicken parmesan uh, I'm down. But I'm hungry right now. It's so sexy. <laughs> okay, guys, I think we're gonna go. Um, maybe we'll show you guys the ring into the next broadcast on subs tomorrow because we did not make it to 20,000 likes. But that's okay. I love you guys so much. Um, if we met any of your playlists, that was amazing. I'll be posting a new video tomorrow. So get excited. It's really, really cute and juicy. So... Get excited for that. There'll be a new video on his channel Saturday, one of mine Sunday. Check out his UNAF Sabargo because we'll be over there tomorrow. We're going to be UNAFing every day. We're really going to try for this entire summer. So, um, summer. It's not even spring. It's not, no, it's not. Yeah, but why does it feel like summer? Because <laughs> we were just in Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to try every day. So we get in a good habit for summer. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. But we love you guys, honestly, so, 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 so much. And please be excited for what's coming this year. I promise you. Isn't it? Okay, have a good Bye, night. Bye, babes. Love you Bye. all. Bye.